Welcome. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to upload videos into Opus Clip. Now, the way I want to do this is I want to upload a video without captions so I can add captions in Opus Clip and they fit inside the screen properly. You can also upload a link from YouTube or all these different places. But the first thing we're going to want to do is click on the home screen on the left hand side, the little picture of the house. Then we're going to upload the video here. I'm going to paste in that video. Let's see, I think that's the right link. It's going to upload this here. And when videos are rendering, you'll be able to see those down there. Okay, so here's my video. I'm going to talk about uh, GPTs in here. And then you can also choose clip anything, beta, so I'm going to go ahead and do that because they're doing free videos. No credits are deducted from your account when you use the clip anything in beta right now. So you can also do clip links. 90 seconds is what automatically populates. You can also choose less than 30 seconds, 30 to 59 seconds. So what I want to do is choose less than 30 seconds. I want these to be really short videos. And I also use my 29 hook viral video generator GPT to get more hooks inside the middle of the video. So if you want that, definitely let me know, or I might create a training about how to use that 29 hook generator. Okay. So next we're going to look and you're going to choose what category you're in. You can let the AI detect it. You might get better outputs if you choose your proper category. So for this, I'm going to choose informative and educational and science and tech. So you can scroll through these. There's motivational, commentary, interview, football, soccer, beauty, fashion, all different kinds of categories. So then we're going to want to say include specific moments. I'm going to say I want all 10 in the list as a separate clip. I'm not sure if it's going to give me 10 videos or not, but I have a, a bulleted list of 10 different things in here. So the time frame is five and a half minutes, but the main thing is to make sure you have the correct clip link that you want. If you want it to be considered a YouTube short, it needs to be less than 60 seconds. So you'll have to either choose this 30 second one or the 30 second to 59 seconds, or you can't upload it as a short into YouTube. TikTok now allows longer video content. You may have to have a, a specific amount of videos at this point. It depends on where you are with your channel. Okay, so next what you're going to do is you can either create a template. I'm not going to go over that in this video, but I'm going to use one of these preset templates here. I'm going to zoom in here. You can see those a little better. There's this karaoke style. Beastie looks like Mr. Beast, Deep River that has a white with black letters. You can scroll through and see this one has different colors here, the turquoise. Here's a nice pink one that pops on this guy's black shirt. If you have a pink shirt on, that's not going to look very good. Here we have uh, Alex Hermosi style clips here. There's Elon Musk here with this letters that get bigger when he's speaking that word. Here's a basic one. Here's one from Think Media, or they call it Think Media. I don't know if it's from that, but maybe that's the style of headline that they use. And you can go in and customize these. You can also save the one you choose as the default. So I'm going to go ahead and click this karaoke style right here, and I'm going to click Save Settings as Default. So if you like the template that you chose, you get good conversions, you get good traffic from those then you could save that as a template. Something else you can do is try different styles and see which one resonates with your audience and gets you the most views, clicks, sales, leads, all of that stuff. So then we're going to just go up to the top again and click get clips in one click. This takes a few minutes. And then we're going to go back to this homepage here. So the pro plan has video, YouTube, Vimeo, Zoom, Rumble, Twitch, Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, Dropbox, and Steamyard. So the cheaper version, you can still upload videos and get different um, ways to upload those videos. So I'm in the queue here 
It's going to take a few minutes and I will show you all of the videos that are created and I uploaded that with no captions. So you want to consider that too, because if you have a video on YouTube and you have captions on it, the captions might be wider than the screen of a short form video that is shaped like your phone, not like your computer. So shorts need to be this shape, phone shape like this, not like this. So you want this portrait mode, not landscape mode. So you can see all of these videos and my projects down here are in landscape mode. You can see this video on the right where it says the 29 hook video viral video formula. It's only going to capture this portrait mode section of me in the video. It's not going to get the stuff all around the sides unless you use a full screen and then you can put the entire video in a smaller screen, but then there will be like blurred or black that's above and below. Okay, so we're on to clipping our long form content into shorter videos in Opus Clip. So I've got a uh, long form video uploaded here and I'm going to show you how to do that. So we've already created the links to be less than 30 seconds and I want to see how many clips did we get out of one five and a half minute video. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It got eight, so it didn't actually make all 10. They might have been too short to make 30 second clips of all those videos. I'm not really sure what happened, but Opus Clip is great because you can see here it grades your clip. And I use my 29 hook viral video creator to have all of these viral hooks inside the middle of the copy. So this one gets a 99 out of 100. So that's pretty good. And it created a headline for us here, Unlock ChatGPT Perfect Prompts for Flawless Responses. So here we go, Unlock ChatGPT's Power with Perfect Prompts, 97 out of 100. So these are really high scores. It gives you the hook, the flow, the value, and the trend analysis with a grade, A, B, C, D. All right, so we've got 83, 80. I'm pretty happy with these scores. Usually as you scroll down, it will show you the scores are usually dropping. They're giving you the best hooks in the beginning. Now you can always use ChatGPT. I have a lot of ChatGPTs that I've created. And if you're interested in that, hit me up or I might have a link after this to give you some freebies. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how to edit some of this video here. So over on the right hand side, we're going to click edit clip. We're not going to get super deep into this, but we're going to go ahead and watch this video real quick. So I'm going to go ahead and click and let's watch this 30 second video. Oh, wait, actually there was a problem. I put less than 30 seconds and it made it one minute and 22 seconds. So there might've been a glitch in the software or I made a mistake. That's also very possible. So I would like those to be shorter. But let's go ahead and watch part of this video and see how it sounds. You wanna also check for the flow of the clip. You don't wanna cut off your, your video mid-sentence or maybe you do wanna cut it off mid-thought. So somebody's gonna watch the next video. Let's go ahead and check it out. Step one, nail, nail the perfect, perfect prompt. prompt and you can unleash precision in every response. Discover how to be crystal clear and specific. You can be crystal clear and specific and that will transform ChatGPT into your ultimate assistant. So I think that would be a good place for another clip. Let's go ahead and watch that again. And specific. You can you can be crystal clear. Let's stop after the word specific. You can be go. big. Okay, so we can split that clip right there if we want to. Now you can see on the timeline on the bottom of the screen, you can see where the clip is right here. And you can highlight each one of these clips. So we have this clip here and I'm, you can see where I'm at in the screen. 
So I'm going to click on the second part of the timeline that's split and I want to grab the video and I want to make it bigger. So I'm going to actually pop into the screen a little bit more. So we're going to have a transition from far away to closer. So let's see how that looks. Crystal, crystal clear, clear and specific. And specific. You can be crystal clear and specific, and that will transform ChatGPT into your ultimate assistant. So I'm going to go ahead and stop there because I was at a pause. And I'm going to go ahead and split that clip again. And then we're going to click this third video clip in the timeline. And I'm going to make it go back to where it was before. So all you'll do is grab their circles on the corners of the video and you'll just grab those in until they fit back into the screen. And you can drag it around and drop it. It's hard to see, but when that crosshairs, the vertical and horizontal line clicks right into the frame, that's when you know your video is centered where it was before. Okay, so let's go ahead and watch that transition again. Let's check it out. Step, Step one, one, nail, nail the, the perfect, perfect prompt. prompt. That might be a good place to have a transition as well. I'm gonna watch it one more time. Step one, nail, nail the perfect, perfect prompt. prompt. And you can, you can unleash, unleash precision, precision in every response. response. Discover how, how to be crystal, crystal clear, clear and specific. And specific. You can be crystal, crystal clear and specific, specific and that will transform ChatGPT into, into your ultimate assistant. assistant. Okay, so I think that is a better hook than what's the beginning. So I'm actually going to delete that whole first section of the video on the bottom left of the timeline. Now let's check out the beginning now. You can be crystal clear and specific and that will transform ChatGPT into your ultimate assistant. You want to avoid one. You need to nail the per So I had a little mess up there. So let's go ahead and edit that out as well. You can be crystal clear and specific and that will transform ChatGPT into your ultimate assistant. I'm just going to go through and split the clip with this video. Let's watch it one more time. You, you, you want to avoid, avoid one. one. You need okay, so I want to start with one. You, you, you want to avoid, avoid one. one. You need to oh, nail. You know what I did? I actually accidentally deleted what I didn't want to delete. But the good news is there is an arrow. If you see my profile picture in the top right hand corner, you scroll over, there's a back arrow right there. So we're going to click that and it's going to take the video clip to where it was before. Look at that. Now it's not messed up. How amazing. So let's go ahead and watch it here. And we're going to just edit from the video here. You can be crystal clear and specific, and that will transform ChatGPT into your ultimate assistant. You, you want to avoid one. So I want to get rid of that mess up here, and I want to start right where it says one. One. Okay, so you've got to, I want to go ahead and split it there and delete that part of the clip you can see in the timeline on the bottom. Just click delete, and let's see if it edited well enough. If it didn't, you can just click the arrow, the back arrow, the curved left pointed arrow on the top right hand side to redo your edit. You can be crystal clear and specific and that will transform ChatGPT into your ultimate assistant. You need to nail the perfect prompt and unleash precision in every response. I'm going to go ahead and split the clip right there because that was the end of a sentence and I think it's a good place. Clear. Okay, we're going to scroll back and watch that last piece of the sentence again. And unleash precision in every response. You want to be crystal clear and give specific instructions and this can transform ChatGPT into your ultimate assistant. You want to avoid pitfalls of vague requests and see the magic happen when you get precise. Okay, so I think that's about the end of that video. I've got to get rid of this feedback thing here. Okay, because that was totally in my way. So let's go ahead and watch that one more time and make sure everything looks good, sounds good. You can be crystal clear and specific and that will transform ChatGPT into your ultimate assistant. You need to nail the perfect prompt 
and unleash precision in every response. So what I want to do is I want to zoom in on that again. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the video, pull out the video, and we could put my we could put me in a weird place and really get people's attention. We could put me way down here. We could move me way up here. I'm going to go ahead and do something just a little weird just to see what that looks like. So let's go ahead and see the transition again. T into your ultimate assistant. You need to nail the perfect prompt and unleash precision in every response. You want to be crystal clear and give specific instructions, and this can transform ChatGPT into your ultimate assistant. You want to avoid pitfalls of vague requests and see the magic happen. Okay, so right at the end of the sentence, I'm going to go ahead and split that clip again. The split is on the bottom left, right above the video timeline. This can transform ChatGPT into your ultimate assistant. Okay, so let's split that clip at the end of that sentence. You want to avoid pitfalls of vague requests and see the magic happen when you get precise. Okay, so I think I might even want to delete this last clip so it automatically put different B-roll in specific places. Okay, let's go ahead and watch and see where it put it and what it looks like. You can be crystal clear and specific, and that will transform ChatGPT into your ultimate assistant. You need to nail the perfect prompt and unleash precision in every response. You want to be crystal clear. You can be. Okay, so I think that's a wrap, and I hope that you found some value in this training, and I can't wait to see you in the next training. Stay tuned.